know, we, to give you an update of where we're at, um, as you may or may not know, we updated our system uh, around 4.30 this morning. So we're roughly at uh, about 141,000. That work continues. Uh, and at some point today, we'll have additional numbers. And uh, we'll, we'll let you know uh, as soon as we can when that will be. Uh, we are, everybody's working. You can see it on the live, on the live stream. There's a lot of activity. And uh, that's really uh, how we envision this, you know, to just continue the work and work and work uh, until it all gets done. And that's, that's, what, we're, that's what we're doing today. So uh, at some point today, we'll be back out with, with additional numbers. And uh, we just wanted to, you know, we felt that we should come out and, and tell you because if some of you didn't know about the update that we did do uh, this morning, early this morning. Thank you. You know, it certainly would have made a difference. Uh, yeah, and uh, you know, I don't, it's hard for me to say whether we would be finished or not because we've never done this before. Um, but certainly, uh, uh, any little bit would have would have helped. Yes, absolutely. We're doing the best we can to get that count done as soon as possible, and as, as it's going to be accurate. Well, yeah, they, they will be segregated, but right now we're working on the we're working on the ballots we have. They're, they're, they're the ballots that we're we're working on right now. At some point today, we'll be back out and we'll be give, we'll update the numbers and we'll let you know when that's going to be. We'll be done as soon as we're done. We want to make sure that every vote that is. Uh, can't, can't legitimately cast and we and is good it gets counted that's what normally happens in elections people vote we count the votes and we and then there's a there's a winner and there's a, a loser that's what's going to happen we're going to count the votes and we're going to we're going to end up at the end but it's going to be accurate and we will continue to give you information as as, as it becomes available We're working on it. So we, we, everybody's working. You can see the live stream. Uh, people are working. As soon as we have numbers, we'll let you know. No issue. Does it there's no slowdown, no issue? No, we're just, we're just going. Do you have an update on the total number that have come in? We're 350,000 that we estimated were zero, as I understand, Sunday's total. Have you narrowed down what's coming in? Do you have an update of total number of mail-in ballots that come in? We're now, we are at 353 now. We'll, we'll be able to update all those numbers uh, at some point today. I do not know right now, but I mean, we do know, but I don't know right now. When the next totals come out, they will be the ballot part of the the original number that we gave you. We didn't get there yet, so we, we're still counting those ballots. I'm going to let Commissioner Schmidt say what he says so eloquently. <laughs> so that's definitely not true. Um, but what I can say is, you know, we get pressed to ask how many ballots can you possibly count going full tilt, uninterrupted into the machines? And we say, should that happen? That's about 10,000 ballots an hour. That doesn't mean you're capable of counting 10,000 ballots an hour. You have shift changes. We have workstations that we clean in between shifts. So it'll be at least until this time tomorrow that you have 97%. Yes, we, we, we would at least until this time tomorrow. So half the people in this room wrote stories saying, listen, everybody, calm down. You're not going to know the results on election night. You have to be, have a different approach to this. You have to have a different perspective because things have changed with mail-in voting. When half of the votes in the city are cast by mail, and half of the votes are at the polling place, 
counting votes cast by mail, if you're gonna do it right and you're gonna do it accurately because there's no other choice, takes a little bit of time. So I know that's very frustrating. It's frustrating for you, it's frustrating for us, but if you're gonna get it right and you're gonna prevent problems which jeopardize voters' votes, it's more important that we do it right than meet artificial deadlines. We're pushing out the results as quickly as we can. We're not holding anything back. You know, if it's, if we say like nine o'clock, we don't wanna hold till nine o'clock. We want you to know and everybody know as soon as we have more votes to, to report. And you can see for yourself, they've been working uninterrupted upstairs. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's a cascade, right? So it's a, the, what's going on is like an assembly line. So first you have ballots that are, just came in, they're sealed, they, they get sorted and prepared to then move from the sorting, after they're sorted, they move to, and they move to the uh, extraction table where they get run through and sliced and they, uh, secrecy envelope is extracted and then they have to be extracted again for to take the ballot contents out of the secrecy envelope. And then they have to be unfolded and backbended and prepared for scanning. That takes, it takes time. It takes time to open that, those many ballots. As everybody knows, that's why we knew that it was going to take longer. Um, and everybody, uh, we've been, we continue to do it and we are continuing to do it and at some point today, We'll come out and we'll give you some numbers, um, and you know we're all we're all you know we we recognize uh, your need to get this, uh, but our need is far greater because we we want to get you know we, it's going to be accurate, and it's going to get done. Thank you. I was working last night and did not hear the president. Thank you.